Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video will show you how to reset a hotel television set. Um, as you can see, this is an LG model television which was gifted to me by my employer, uh, a major hotel brand, which recently underwent renovations. And during that process, they decided to get rid of all the older televisions and gave them to the staff of the hotel. Mine is propped on a cabinet, <laughs> uh, which was also gifted from the hotel, but we'll talk about that lady later. Uh, what we want to do is to take off the hotel settings from the TV. And I'm going to turn the TV on so that you can see... Right now, all we're getting is a blank screen. Um, and I'm not sure if most of you know, most hotel television sets come with the box on the back of it and um, it's controlled completely by that box. But in this case, um, this one doesn't have a box. So they gave us the TVs, they didn't give us the box, of course. and. As you can see, I do have an ante uh, antenna, excuse me, attached to the TV, but the antenna can't pick up the channels uh, because of the blocked settings that were placed on the television set by the employer. Now, I've spent days trying to figure this out and watching other YouTube videos on how to and nearly drove myself nuts in the process, but... Um, I found one that gave me some help, but didn't quite fix the issue. Kept playing with it until I came up with my own resolution. So here goes. The TV set is on. Um, and yours may just have a uh, bit of fuzz behind it. I'm not sure. Really doesn't matter. What we're going to do again is reset it so that we can use the antenna and get some channels on the TV. So using the remote that was provided, and here is mine. We're going to press and hold the menu button. TV remote, menu button, hold it. TV menu will populate. Hold it until it disappears and you get this menu. This is the menu that we want to see. Okay, that's the digital whatever. Once that menu appears on the remote, we're going to press the numbers 2, six, six, three, and the two, six, six, three, enter on your remote. And that takes you to the TV link configuration screen. You want to press the arrow keys on the remote until you get to the D box. You can see that it's on. We want to turn that off. The D box is basically what's controlling the input on the TV. So once we get that off, you want to go ahead and press the power button on the remote to turn your TV off. Give it a couple of seconds. And we're going to turn the TV back on. All right, so your TV will still have a blank screen, but what you do from here Go back to the menu screen and you want to go into the setup mode on your television. So we're going to do the easy scan. And just allow your TV enough time to scan so that it can pick up any digital channels that are available using the antenna. And that may take a little while, so we are going to pause the video just to allow it some time. The first time that we did it, it did take us about seven minutes or so. So we're not going to make you suffer through that part. We'll come back. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have finished the scan and we did end up with about... 19 channels. We did it another time and we got maybe 28 channels, but this time we ended up with 19, um, which, you know, beats zero. 
especially given the fact that there's no cable and we're just using an antenna. Um, so good success here. Nice clear picture. Um, quick easy fix for a TV that was again gifted um, by my employer. So if you're having problems and you're having difficulties uh, getting your TV to allow you to go into auxiliary mode or um, use an antenna to pick up channels. This is the quickest and easiest way that I've found. A lot of the other videos suggest that you go out and purchase a box or a special remote. That's not what we did here. Um, I just kept playing with it until I figured out what worked. No boxes connected. There's no special remote. I am using the remote that came with the TV. Um, which is this one so you guys should be able to do the same and have some success all right i hope this works for you if you have any questions leave the comment leave them in the comments um, i'll be happy to respond if i can uh, again thank you so much for watching the video and supporting the channel we'll have lots more to come lots more diy tips to help you um, get through things uh, a lot easier thank you for watching